天风伴吹散沉香，香满心上。乍一回荡归入窑塘，相思泪湿的心头上。年儿老，手舞在纸上，要一时。笑千里光，与君一别两苍茫。一望此去不归期，情等来生再续。如真去往不留心，等心燃起不过期。一晚回想独火欢，心藏清君一匹。Cure all blood. Can't cure the poison. I see. Every time I drank poison to prep my blood, I ignored the pain because I knew if I cure all blood, I could save Fiya and cure his poison. But now, but now you're telling me cure all blood's useless? The pain I suffered was all for nothing. Don't worry. Cure all blood has an antidote. It just takes a bit of time. I don't care if I'm cured. To be honest, I'm just worried about Fei here. I know you and she too well. If she found out. She'd save him with her blood too. That's right. She'd give up everything for Fei Yue. What is the antidote after all? If Yun Xi has to sacrifice a life for him, Fei Yue would never accept that. If need be, you must stop her from doing that. There is only one so-called cure in the world. And that is. Tell me, what is it? I'll go now and see if your brother has come yet. Is it the hot blood of you and your daughter? If you die here, only Han Yuxi's blood can save Wang Fei Yue. There's no other way. Am I right? If you and Han Yuxi can both save Wang Fei Yue right now, that would be such a hard choice for Han Yuxi to make. I'm just helping her make up her mind right now. Yes. Don't let the demon control your true nature. Please wake up. I am awake. I'm telling you. If Han Yuxi saves Long Fei Yue, she will have to die. If she doesn't save him, I'll review her hypocrisy in front of Fei Yue so he wakes up and realizes she doesn't love him that much. And then I will use her blood to save him. <laughs> Why'd you do this? Listen, Fei Yue. This man killed your entire family, and also made you suffer for so long now. Now you ask me why I killed him? Is it because you love Han Yuxi that you can just forget the revenge you wanted again? So 
since you can't bear to kill him, I have killed him on your behalf to save you from your dilemma. This matter is between Hayusi and me. Why get involved? Whether I get revenge or not, and when I will, has nothing to do with you. Go now. You still don't understand me? Everything that I've done is for you. For me? Mita. I will remember everything you've done for me and feel guilty about it. But that's no reason for you to do what you want. Get out of my sight right this minute. Go! Master! Father! Father? Father! Well, for you. You promised that you would not kill my father. Why did you break your own promise? Why did you? Tell me why! Tell me why! <sighs> My lord, have some water. Do you? Humble slave, how dare you give him water? Without my permission, nobody can feed him anything. Sorry, I didn't expect things would be like this. Don't blame yourself. Once we're back, I'll be fine. My lady, I'm sorry. I should have told you earlier. Father. We just met a short while ago. And I have so many things to tell you still. How could you have left me alone? I want to play more rope games with you. I want you to prepare a fish banquet for me. How could you bear to leave me so soon? From today onward, I will always be by your side and protect you from any future harm.
Just do what I say, all right? Huh? Hmm? huh? Let's go check. Hmm. Ming's young. Hey, why are you drinking so much alcohol? Yingqing, there's blood everywhere. I'm scared. What's the matter? I killed the Poison King. I killed a man. I, I'm a murderer. I killed the Poison King. Did she just say she killed Poison King? No, no, no. Just calm down, Ming Xiang. You're just drunk. You drink too much, huh? I'm a murderer. I killed him. I killed him. Ming Xiang, what nonsense are you talking about? You are too drunk. Sober you know, up. What are you saying? But I really do kill him. I did it myself. I'm so scared. <sighs> do you know if Poison King dies, we'll never have an antidote. If Fei Ye will die? Come on, let it go. Listen to what she has to say. <sighs> I can cure Fei Ye by myself. I can cure him myself. Are you out of your mind? I am. I'm crazy right now. Everyone cares only about Han Yuxi's suffering. But no one cares about me or asks if I'm in pain. I'm in pain too. And I'm scared too. I'm exhausted as well. Is it wrong to care about myself? Why are you all criticizing me? Yes. I was truly heartless. Since everyone here now will never forgive me. And Faye doesn't want to see me anymore. I won't stay here any longer and bother you all. Hey, you... Uh, she... Really killed the King of Poisons? Could it be true? I think it's true. But how could she do something so cruel? You she just met her father... She... What's more, Fei has always treated her well. And Consorti cares for her like a daughter. You're awake. I came to save you and Juyu. Hold on. I must go to Bailey. I have things to finish there first. I have to go get Mother's remains before I can leave Bailey for good. It's really wonderful that you woke up. It was all my fault, but I didn't protect you. Don't blame yourself. But I remember that an old man helped cure my poison. Old man? Mm. Poison King. It must be him. Yuta, hurry and save Juyu and get out of here. What about you then? Don't worry. They can't do anything to me. Listen, go right now. <gasps> Fie, you're finally back. Fie. I need to ask something. What? Did you kill the Poison King? I killed him. Come on, don't lie to us like that. We know everything. Ming Xiang told us everything when she was drunk. She killed him. Why would you take the blame for her? Han Yu and she will hate you for that. No matter what, I don't want Ming Xiang to get more involved in this. <sighs> Fei Ye, are you going to leave Yun Xi forever? If you and she keeps believing that you killed her father, then you two will never be together for the rest of your life. Also, since he's dead, what will we do about your cure? Both of you listen to me. Don't let anybody know that Ming Xiang killed him. She's become the way she is, all because of me. She's my sister, so I should take responsibility for this. You 
dared to have someone save Ju Yu. You can kill me, if you want. <laughs> Do you see that? That's your botany valley. I've burned all of your precious herbs. That's what you deserve for helping her leave. Junisia, during these days, I didn't get the King of Poisons, and was mistreated while in Tianning. Tell me, how should I repay you for that? Keep this in your tiny mind. I want you to remember this. A chicken is a chicken, and it'll never be a phoenix. How it is possible for you to beat me? After we return, I will definitely make you pay for everything that you have done. Fei, when will we finally make our move? If Xiqiu and Bei Li have formed an alliance, as soon as we move. Chu Qingge will certainly ask for help from Xiqiu, and also quickly inform Bei Li. At that time, our chances of winning will be very unlikely. It's my fault for not getting Jun Yi Zhong. Not your fault? He's the one who blatantly challenged us. Tang Li, the process matters most. He is right. Highness, Botany Valley was burned down by Chun Yi Zhong. Jun Yi Zheng is ruthless towards his brother. Without the valley, Gu Qisha will have little recourse. I suppose after he returns to Bei Li, his days will be numbered. To be honest, I really wish that Gu Qisha were the crown prince of Bei Li now. He and Yu are such good friends, he'd definitely help us. Unlike that ungrateful, arrogant man who's up to no good. Hey, what are you saying? Highness, in my humble opinion, she is right to a certain degree. Kuchi Shao is also a prince, but because of his mother, he was kept locked away in a hidden palace. He has never been treated well by his father or his brother for very long. Xifeng, I want you to go to Bei Li and investigate Gu's secrets. Yes. Fair. Don't you still hate Gucci Shell? To destroy Bei Li and Xiqiu's alliance, Gucci Shell is useful to us. Hmm. I agree with you. He was inspired by my idea. Okay, okay. You're the best, okay? Any updates about me, Xiao? Yes. Our men notified me that she went to General Bai's place. Miss Bailey, your father has come. Father. Xiao Chuan, you may leave now. Yes. Ming Xiang, what's wrong with you? I don't understand what you mean, Father. Why did you kill the Poison King? Did Fei Ye tell you that I did that? He didn't. Chu Shifeng sent some news. That Prince Qin killed him, but I didn't buy it. So I investigated and heard that you were seen running out of the temple with bloody hands. Father, you know everything. So I won't lie to you. But he's Poison King, Fei Ye's mortal enemy. Why couldn't I kill him? Because he's the only one who can save his highness. Really? What about me, then? 
Ming Xiang. Father, do you know what? He said that Kira Old Blood would never cure Fei's poison. All my efforts for the past ten years have been for nothing. Now I am just a big idiot that everyone can laugh at. I won't give up. Father, I can't give up. <sighs> Ming Xiang, when I first found out that you were preparing Cure All Blood, I asked you what would you do if Cure All Blood couldn't cure his poison. Later on, do you still remember what you told me? You said, no matter what happens, you're willing to try and won't regret it. But today you... Father, I still do not regret it. And I'm now more convinced than ever that my choice was totally right. Except for me, nobody else is allowed to save him. Father, you must believe me. I sacrificed my life because I wanted to win Faye's love for me. But I have lost. I have completely lost. Ming Xiang, do you know that His Highness will die now that you've done this? <sighs> Tomorrow morning, you're going back with me. No, I don't want to go home. It's an order. You dare disobey? Tomorrow, we're leaving. You look much better today. I'm glad to see that. I know. Father would not want me to be depressed for too long. <laughs> I remember that Master once said, what he loved the most was every time he smiled. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Ku. I made you worried. But I'm much better now. My lady, just call me by my name from now on. No need to be polite. I'm used to that. <laughs> The weather today is pretty good. How about we go out and do some shopping to improve your mood? Mm, I'll go to bo Old habits die hard, it seems. I guess you haven't heard yet. The Botany Valley is gone now. It's gone now? What do you mean? Last night someone set a fire to it and burned the whole place to ashes. <gasps> that place was Gucci Shaw's life! Oh well. It's gone, so be it. Since his cover was blown, he doesn't need that valley. But it's a pity the herbs were ruined. If you still want to do research on finding the antidote, I can go to Prince Chin's manor and get you herbs.这个世界凋谢，我回首才能顺便，用沉默间接抵抗万语千言。倘若这世间一切都在无情的分别，我会有手中的血为你奉愿。陪你看日升月迁，陪你看沧海变迁，陪你一字又一言，不下回忆的诗篇。陪你将情节改写，陪你将白荒走遍，只因你独得的我，而你注定是我的心头血。I will do all I can to cure Faye's poison and look after him. I will be a good wife. How can I help you, Doctor? Highness, Yun Xu wants to continue researching an antidote for you. But Botany Valley is burned down, so we'd like to get some of the herbs from the Serene Hall. Don't bother. Give this to her for me.
Highness, are you sure about this? Take good care of Han Yanxi for me. I appreciate it. Don't worry about that. She's my master's daughter, so she's my master too. I'll do my best to look after her and protect her. But I'm doing this not because you asked me to. It's simply my responsibility. I'm glad to do it. I will take my leave now. Xiao Chuan, pass my order. We're going to stop here for tonight. We'll continue tomorrow. Yes, General. Ming Xiao, what would you like to eat? We have a long way to go still. I'm not hungry. Put all these herbs in the pharmacy. Yes. His Highness is clearly still in love with Yunxi. Why would they put aside their feelings for each other? Hey, don't put the herbs in the middle of the yard. Put them in the storehouse. Yes. <gasps> My lady. Where did you get so many herbs? Oh, I already took time off from my duties. I selected all these herbs from the Royal Hospital. Since you want to continue your research on finding a cure, then I should be able to do my best to assist you. I'm afraid. These herbs won't last long, as I must test a lot. General, it seems that your daughter is missing now. She's what? Send men to look for her. You have to bring her back. Yes. Stop there. <laughs> What do you want? Money? I have some. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what a beautiful young girl. Today, we don't want just your money. <laughs> ah, that got me! That got me! Stop it! Don't come closer. Don't come near. <laughs> so young and pretty lively, huh? I'm telling you, my father's a general, and Prince Chin is my cousin. If any of you dare to touch me, they will hunt you down. <laughs> is that so? Well, that doesn't scare us at all. What general and what prince around here? I'm the boss. I give orders. Huh? Mm. Who was that? Come out right now! Come out! All right, boys. Kill her right now! Lee, what are you doing out here? We shouldn't stay here too long. Let's get out of here first. Then I'll take you back home. Thank you, Cordial Lee. Mm. <sighs> Sir. 
sorry to bother you. I can do it myself. Happy to help. Miss Bailey, are you going back to Prince Chin's? I'm not. Then where are you going at the moment? <laughs> General Bailey and I are good friends. If you don't mind my humble little abode, why don't you stay with my family and I for a while? But. All right. Good. Then let's go. Greetings to you, your highness. Quickly rise. That's not needed between us. I came to report on my work. So I shouldn't have come here and raised suspicions. But I've sinned, and I must confess my guilt in front of you. You are noble and brave and care for our land. What have you done? My daughter has now caused so much trouble for you. I'm her father. I'm at fault. If only I could have realized her obsession sooner and stopped her in time, she wouldn't have committed such a crime and bothered your highness. She killed the Poison King to get revenge for me. I know that. But her health is not good now. And she shouldn't stay here longer. I plan to take Mingxiang with me back home. But overnight, she ran away from me. I'm afraid she'll do something stupid. If Mingxiang left by herself, I suppose she's on her way back here now. I've noticed something strange about Mingxiang recently. It's all my fault for spoiling her too much. She's too willful. I beg your forgiveness. Don't blame yourself. Mingxiao has been through so much that her mood is unstable. But don't worry, General. I will send more people to find Mingxiao. Thank you, Highness. I've left the border for quite a while now. If I don't go back, His Majesty will get suspicious. And I must rely on you to help me find Mingxiao. I will do my best. Thank you, Highness. been done. Hmm. For many years, you've never disappointed me. You're most reliable. <gasps> Majesty, I'd like to report another thing. Yes? On my way back to the capital, I saved a girl. Who? Bai Li Mingxiang. Bai Li Mingxiang? You mean General Bai Li's daughter? Exactly. Miss Bai Li was all alone, out in the wilderness. If I hadn't passed by just in time, I'm afraid Miss Bai Li would have been caught and hurt by a gang of muggers. Majesty, I think that she ran away secretly from her home. So I let her stay with me for the time being. Bai Li Mingxiang is the general's favorite daughter. She might be useful for us. Let her stay with you. Also, don't let anyone know anything about this. Yes, Majesty. Majesty! Majesty, I have bad news. What is it that's so urgent? Your Majesty, we just received news that a plague broke out in the south, and hundreds of people have died already. 
This is the report from the local government. Go. Call every official to court. Uh, yes, Majesty. Are you thirsty? <laughs> Majesty, this disaster is very serious. A high-ranking official should go supervise the doctors we send. That way, he can reassure the people that we care and also closely supervise the local officers down there to prevent any embezzlement and corruption during this time. Is there anyone among you here who volunteers to go there for disaster relief? Your Majesty, I'd like to go south to save people from this plague. Your Majesty, I'd like to go too. Your Majesty, as Minister of Revenue, I know the local situation there. Majesty, please allow me to go there. I'm so glad that so many of you are so concerned. Now, about our people. Who has the best choice to go there? Minister of Personnel. Yes, Majesty. You've never worked on disaster relief. You've no experience. This time, the situation is severe and rather urgent. You are not ready. Minister of Revenue. Majesty. You are indeed a good choice to go. But just as you said, the disaster is serious. It must be someone prestigious who goes there to show the royal family cares for the people down there. Prince Chin, you're a royal family member. If you want to go there, that would be best. You can represent the royal family and our concern for the people. You've worked on disaster relief before. You're brave and quick-witted. I think you're the best choice to go to the South. I promise not to let you down. Good. I'll have Mu Ching Wu. And the royal doctors go with you. I hope you can stop the infectious plague and save our people from this crisis. Majesty, please allow me to discuss this with several local officials who know the situation. Fine. Sun Mortal's army in the south is key to our success. I'm afraid they'll suffer great losses once the plague hits. Don't worry, Your Highness. According to General Sun, the only ones infected are those who are weak or elderly. The weak and the elderly. Indeed, their health can't resist any kind of plague. But after a while, the plague will spread. I'm afraid that His Majesty pretended to send you away to the south for disaster relief, but actually, he wants to check your relationship with General Soon. That's not impossible. Faye, you can't go. The plague's infectious. However strong you are, you could die from the plague at any time. This is a critical time now. You can't take such a big risk. I have to go. No matter what. Faye, we have been preparing for many years. We're now able to make our move. At this critical time, if something happened to you, everything we've done would be in vain. 
Tony. We want to overthrow Emperor Tianhui, but it's not only for revenge, right? Emperor Tianhui is merciless and sets heavy taxes that are unbearable for the people. We must rebel against him, not only to get our revenge, but also to save the commoners here. If the plague spreads further and is not controlled in time, then countless citizens will die. This is now a critical time. We cannot plan our revenge and ignore the people. His, His Highness, Highness is, is right, right about, about that. that. But what if something happened to you? What should I do? Every day, I urge you to study and learn how to reign. I do that so if I'm not here, you will be able to take my place. No way! If you're not here, I... I... I can't do it, bro! Yunji! <gasps> Just relax. I'm all alone today. Fei is leaving for the south. Why is he going down there? There's a plague in the south. His Majesty sent him to control it. Why would a plague suddenly break out? We don't know why either. Fei Ye must go there to learn what happened. I'm afraid he's in danger. So... I came here. You know medicine and herbs. With you by his side there, I won't worry. I have had experience with plagues. I'll go there. Don't worry. Are you really going? Of course. You cannot go. Why not? My lady, you are very good at poisons, but you haven't learned medicine that well. If a plague has broken out, what can you do there? Therefore, you won't be much help. I... I can lend a helping hand. The Royal Hospital has sent half their doctors. You won't be of any help down there. What would we do if you got infected too? Besides, you and Prince Chin are not getting along. So I think you'd better not go with him. Yeah. 